Hey everybody, today I'm painting Caitlyn from Zombicide Green Horde. Hope you're all doing well today. So this miniature is primed in desert yellow from the Army Painter. And uh, to, tell you, to, be, to be honest, I was a little annoyed with her cape. I had a lot of hard time. Anyways, we'll get to that soon. This is mid-brown. I start that off with a wash on her cape. Uh, I followed the highlighting um, tutorial or anyways guide on the Army Painters page to say if you use desert yellow, you use mid-brown, and then you use moon dust as a highlight. I didn't like that at all. Anyways, you'll see it as I go along. Alright, so first off we're going to move on to a rigid leather from D&D's Marvelous Pigments Paints. And uh, this is going to be for a few parts, so it's mostly for her boots. Uh, it's going to be for parts of the uh, scabbard, uh, some of the... Uh, just a whole bunch of different parts on this miniature is going to be done in this rigid leather. She's got a lot of brown colors in the artwork. I could have changed it up a little bit, but uh, I think it comes out really nice in the end. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. Uh, if you also have ideas of future projects you'd like me to paint, I've got a few in mind, but hey, I'd like to always hear from you. You can see all the uh, photos of my minis I've painted over on uh, Instagram at Rob Deesterling. You can see the links are showing up right now, so to follow me on Facebook for some all sorts of gaming stuff. And of course on the YouTube channel uh, where you see me painting my videos. And uh, as well as on Discord, that link will be in the comments. You can join there. I put up polls of what my future paintings are going to be. Uh, we talk about gaming news, board games, miniatures, all sorts of fun stuff. I also now stream on Twitch at Easterling79, Friday nights Eastern Time. If you want to come and talk about paintings, video games, board games, whatever you want, I'm on there. Come see me. So now that that wash is dry, I'm going to do some moon dust highlighting with the Army Painters paint. And so this is what they suggest to put on it. And it is far too bright and I really don't like it. So I end up covering this up later on with other stuff. And uh, yeah, in the end it turns out nice with what I do with the cape. It just doesn't turn out as yellowy as in the artwork, but I'm still good with it. All right, we're gonna use some leather brown, which is from the Zombicide Black Plague paint set. And this is gonna go pretty much on her, so these are like on top of her boots. It's like the leather stuff. There's a, she's got a crude dress on. Uh, this is gonna go on some straps. It's gonna go uh, a, a lot of places actually. I'm also gonna use this on her hair, even though she has really dark hair, but later on I'm gonna use a strong tone to bring out the darkness. <laughs> that sounds funny. As you can see where I'm going with all these tones of brown. So this is Banshee Brown from the Army Painter. And uh, this is going to go on her leggings, on uh, straps, of, again, the arrows, the, like the feathers, uh, on her shirt. And again, it's a lighter color, but again, later on with the washes, it comes out really nice.
All right, now putting the actual color in this miniature is Crested Sore from Army Painter. So it's a very deep red, and this is just for the bedroll. Now we're going to base that skin of hers with Corpse Pale and then we're going to put a wash on it later on to give it the depth. So this is for her hands and her face. And of course we move on to our Claymore Blade from the Zombicide Black Plague paint set. And of course this is for her dagger that's on her and her scimitar sword looking thing. And her dagger that she has in her hand like I said. Alright, so here we're using some dark tone. It's a wash from the Army Painter. And we're going to use this on everything that was leather brown, uh, the rigid leather, and uh, on the bedroll as well, but not on the cape. <laughs> and I think I, finished, I fixed the cape by now at this point. I think I did it off camera. So you can see that bright, bright yellow is gone. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use a light tone, another wash from the Army Painter. And this is gonna go on everything that was Banshee Brown because I didn't want to be too, too, too dark. All right, now we're gonna use some flesh wash, another wash from the Army Painter. Don't forget to shake these up really well too because the pigments are gonna settle in the bottom and it gives a nice coat on the flesh. Then we're going to use some Army Painter's green skin, and this is just going to be for the base to be able to finish off this miniature. I do add some nice little tufts onto this base afterwards, and uh, you'll see that in the picture. So yeah, that is Caitlyn completely finished and ready to fight that green horde. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I enjoy making them. Don't forget to comment down below any other future products you'd like me to paint. Don't forget to like and subscribe.